Mac OS X, GNS3, and the ASA. With a new release candidate of GNS3, this now works. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set it up. Let's begin. A while back, I had the opportunity to create a CBT Nuggets video series on GNS3, and I had a blast doing it. One of the things we learned in that series was how to do emulation of an ASA firewall, Cisco ASA firewall in GNS3. However, the condition was, that the host operating system, the guy that's running GNS3, had to be Windows. I've had a lot of requests regarding, hey, can we get ASA working natively on a Mac running GNS3? And you know what? I used a couple days of time trying to get a simple way of making that work. I never found one. But you know what? A few days ago, one of my friends texted me and said, hey, Keith, they've got a new release candidate for GNS3. And guess what? It supports ASA on the Mac and it works. I couldn't believe it. I labbed it up. It worked right out of the box and I wanted to share that information right here with you. So here is the secret sauce to making it work. We're going to download GNS3 version 8.4 release candidate 2 to our Macintosh. We're going to open that DMG file and drag the GNS3 icon over to the applications folder. And what's really cool is check this out. When GNS3 is running under preferences, under Kimu, you click the ASA tab. There's this little button called apply next to a thing called pre-configuration for ASA 8.42. If you click that apply button, it's automatically going to set the Kimu options as well as the kernel command line options. So you don't have to go out and search for the perfect string to put in both those places. It automatically does it for you. The only thing you have left to do is go ahead and specify where the init RD and the kernel files are. Now, if you don't have those on your system, you aren't using them with your Windows platform, you can simply download those, point to those files, and then you're ready to bring up your Macintosh running GNS3 with correct and working ASA emulation. So let me walk you through the steps. We're going to go to gns3.net to begin with, and then we'll go to the download section right here. And from the download section, I want you to pay special attention currently that this link is active. So this is the one we want, 8.4 Release Candidate 2. So to get there, we'll simply click on that link. And from here, we're going to click on this link to go to SourceForge so we can download that image. So a simple click takes us there. And there are several flavors that we can choose from on the Mac. The one we're interested in right here is GNS3 0.8.4 release candidate 2 for lion.dmg. And that's the puppy we're going to download. I simply downloaded that, double clicked on it, and then dragged the icon for GNS3 over to my applications folder. Now that GNS3 is running, we're going to go to GNS3, down to preferences. And under preferences, we're going to go down to Kimu. And under Kimu, we're going to click on the ASA tab. From here, the quickest way to get this working is to click this apply button. So from this drop down list right here, we can specify, okay, we want to do ASA 8.4. Now this is not supplying the actual software. This isn't supplying the operating system for the ASA, but it is specifying the parameters to make that software work. So we're going to click on apply and notice what it did. It filled in the kernel command line and the Kimu options for us automatically. So we don't have to specify anything. It also took care of the RAM and the name. So that's all set up. Really, the only two things we have to do now are specify this file and this file. Now, if you already have them on your system because you're using them with Windows, you can use those same exact files. If you don't have them, you can go ahead and do a quick Google search. As an example, this is the Google search I would strongly recommend doing. GNS3 ASA 8.4. And let's grab this top one on the list. We'll click on that. And those are specified right here. And you'll notice if we scroll down just a little bit here, he also has on this site the Kimu options and the kernel command line. But if we use that apply button, it'll automatically put the right settings for us in there. So we don't need to worry about it. And if we scroll down a little bit further, there's additional information here that might be useful for individuals working with the ASA in an emulated environment. So presuming I have those files available, I simply browse for them now. So I'll click on browse. There's the initRD file. I'm going to double click on that to select it. And for the kernel file, it is right there. So I just basically put them in a location on my file system that I could go and find again. And now that I'm done, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and click on save right there. And that save button is really important. That's what gives us the ingredients, if you will, for the emulation of that ASA that this GNS3 system can now use. So let's create a new project. I've closed GNS3 and reopened it. This is the default dialog for a new project. I'm going to say yes to everything here. And let's create a project called ASA Test 2. And we'll click on OK. 
And if we want to bring an ASA onto the topology, we go over to the firewall section. We have the ASA. You'll notice it's bolded, and that's because we have the configuration information for the ASA. We'll click on that and drag it out onto the topology. And just for grin, so I can ping something else, let's also go ahead and drag a router out. I have configured the iOS for a 7200 series, so I'll drag a router out there as well. I'm going to put a generic switch in between those guys. So there's a layer two switch, and I'm also going to configure R1 to give him at least one interface so that he has an interface to talk out of. So let's go ahead and use one there, and we'll click, one's really enough. We'll click on OK, and then let's wire them up. So to connect them together, we're going to use the connect tool, and from the ASA, it calls it E0, they're really gigabit interfaces. Let's go from gig zero to port one on the switch, and from port two on the switch, over to FA00 on the router. So I'm gonna disable the connector tool and put the labels on so we can go ahead and see those. If I wanna rename this, no problem. Just rename it Gig0 and this guy's FA00. That looks good to go. And then we can simply bring them all up by simply clicking on this green go button right here and that brings them up. It's opening up a separate window as it launches Kimu in the background and then it's starting the router. And both of these aren't gonna have any specific configurations because I'm not using an automated startup file yet with either of these. So let's go ahead and open up console sessions. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click here, start console to all devices. It'll be one for the ASA and one for Mr. R1. So here's the windows for those. So there's R1. I'll put him over here. And there's our good old ASA right there on the left. So let me start on the router real quick. I'll say, no, I don't want to go ahead and do the initial configuration dialog. So let's go into privileged mode, config T, and interface FA0 slash 0. We'll say no shutdown, and we'll say IP address. Let's give him 10.0.0.1 with a 24-bit mask. And that is up. Sounds good. And we'll do an end and show IP interface brief just to make sure. And that sure enough points out that Mr. R1, this FA00, has the IP address of 10001, and it is currently up and up, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and configure the ASA gig zero interface. So we're on the ASA. We'll go into privileged mode. There's no password by default to get there. We'll go into configuration mode. I'm going to say, no, I don't want to do the anonymous error reporting. And we'll go into interface gig zero. I'll say no shutdown. That's always a good idea. And we'll do a name if command. I'll call it the inside interface. And I'm also going to specify an IP address. IP address of 10.0.0.2. And by default, its security level is set to 100. So if this is all working correctly, we should be able to ping right here over to 10.0.0.1. Just make sure I've got my addresses right. So we're going to ping from this ASA over to this interface just as a basic connectivity test to make sure it's working. So we'll press Enter. And sure enough, I got 5 out of 5. If we did a debug over here on the router, debug... IP ICMP like that and we did that ping again I just want to verify that we really are talking to that device and there we go and there's the debug messages I've got an entire series on a lot of bells and whistles in GNS3 if you'd like to check that out we'd love to have you and it's up at cbtnuggets.com in this video we've identified that it's pretty easy to add ASAs on a Mac operating system in GNS3 if you're running the right version of software in this case 8.4 Release Candidate 2. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.